Alrighty folks, welcome back to Shallow Pocket Takers. Well, for the past probably two months, we've been working off and on them. a couple dog kennels. <clears throat> I mentioned earlier in one video, we're getting another puppy and it's coming May 5th. And we're getting one, the grandson's getting one too, so... Me and the grandson, well him and his girlfriend's getting one. Been working on these things off and on, on good days. So that's part of the reason why there hasn't been nothing done in the cabin here recently. And I run out of screws when I was putting this bottom together, so I'm putting this brace on here now. And hopefully, if I can get him up here a day or two this weekend, we can pretty well get these things done. He's got his frame stained. I need to do a little more sanding on mine yet, but not a whole lot. I didn't show everything on these. I know I didn't show cutting rebar and different stuff. But there's Michael's. And I think there's some other shots. Of it. And both the tops and both the doors are sitting there partially. Mine sitting here on its back. And then my rebar sitting there on the table. I'd really like to see at least one of these get done this weekend. Get out of here. So hopefully this weekend we'll get one of these done at least, maybe both of them, and get them out of here. That way we can at least finish up using what boards we do have here for upstairs and do some of that. And we also, I'll take you outside. Got another snowstorm this weekend up here, which I had to clear part of the porch off so I could work a little bit up here today. So we got a little video put together of building these dog kennels, and once we get them done, we'll show them on their own another video on them or at the beginning or end of something else but yeah it's, been, it's a beautiful day up here it's about 50 degrees it'd be a nice day to be back in there cutting some more of the mountain laurel out but not when there's snow on the ground I don't know if you can see it right there or not because the sun's so bright, I can't see it through the camera, but I did put one 
exclusion cage right there to see how much my clover and rye is actually growing. And I'm not really seeing any deer tracks, but I haven't walked around. I do have a couple crab apples up here that I planted last year that are leafing out. I don't know if you can tell that one's getting leaves on it or not for sure. It's so bright out here. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we are. Mikey and Brooke decided to put those together to see how big the kennel was going to be here. We wanted to make sure we had them. Big enough for a full-size German Shepherd, make sure it was going to be high enough and tall enough and long enough, wide enough. Here he's getting ready to mark for the hose of the rebar we put in, which we didn't get any footage of cleaning up the rebar or painting it, but and there's some other stuff that got left out that we've done, but this video is going to be long enough with what we did film, so and we ended up putting our hose the center of a hole three inches apart which we end up using 5 8 3 bar because we got it for free we were going to use half inch it's using half inch I don't know if you probably probably been better off you know, going like two and a half inches but with going three inch on center you got oh a little over a quarter inch each way so your actual gap is only going to be two and a half inches or a little less than two and a half inches and that should work for, for our German Shepherd puppies we're getting it shouldn't be too big of a space for them to get out through or if it is for a week or two it ain't going to be a big deal we can always block it off for a couple weeks if we have to but I think their heads will be big enough by the time we get them that they won't be able to get their head out through between the bars so if you're building one of, one of these for a smaller dog you got to take that into consideration of how small the head is on your dog you don't want your dog to get his head caught between the rebar you put in it And we had to do a lot of adjusting on our holes because we didn't use a drill press to drill them so we didn't get them all 
exactly centered and lined up, but we drilled out the holes. She had 11 sixteenths to begin with, so we had a little play in them to begin with, so that helped out. And we ended up using quarter inch plywood, which may have to be replaced in the bottom, I don't know. I think it's going to be heavy enough. Whenever we went to get plywood, we was going to get a sheet of both and just use a quarter inch in the back. But every piece of half inch plywood uh, looked like shit. The ends were laminated on them. And we're delaminating on them. So we decided just to go with the one sheet of plywood and cut it for the floor and back in both of them. And we used that piece of wood there as a guide for the saw to hopefully help keep us a little square, which two or three of them went into the frame pretty easy for us they were cut to where we didn't have to cut them again but we did have to trim up a couple of them anyhow And we put this together, mostly pocket holes. And we did just bread now or plywood in.
might be drilling holes for the rebar. And we put broken Michelle. Give him the job of sand and some of the stuff. They putting in the back of mine, attaching the plywood to, which I did put some three quarter inch pieces in there behind at the red nail too. After I did the back of mine here, I found out that I needed to get some shorter bread now, so I got some shorter bread now for the rest of them. I had to cut the ones off, because I had one, one inch or inch and a half that I was using there. Well, there's a shot of, I don't know which one, after we got the rebar to fit. Mike and Brooke Priest Damon Lurs. I want your priest stain is supposed to help you keep you from getting the dark spots in your stain. I don't think either one of them's ever stained anything themselves before.
here we go with the stain and the others. You pre put the pre stain on, you let it set for five or ten minutes and wipe off the excess, and then you wait another ten to fifteen minutes and put your stain on. And they both tried to more or less use the stain as what you would paint. Well, whenever you're staining something like this, you just want to get your stain put on, make sure you have everything covered, and then give it another, give it 10 or 15 minutes time to soak in what's going to soak in, and wipe the excess off. <coughs> You don't worry about having too much, which they were, I think they were a little worried of putting too much on. I was trying to make it like it was painting it with a stain, not put too heavy a coat on, but <coughs> we got them straightened out on that. <coughs> 